Back at the motel where everybody knows where we're at now. <laughs> yeah, that's why we should move. People would know where we're at. Clementine! You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? Might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. We got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. <laughs> we have to go eventually, Lily. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly? Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. It could be so much worse. When's the last time someone got bitten? Are you counting the St. John's? Jesus, Ben. We're all going a little nuts. Can't tear each other apart. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? What is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these she runs. She was bitten. The Why did you say you that? You don't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming, this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! Somebody's been stealing food? She's right, you know. Shit's just getting worse by the day. Whatever, Lee. You've picked your sides. Ken, that's not fair. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Jeez, Kenny, come on, dude. <sighs> oh, things are coming Always to a head. A you could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. 
Well, I think I'm gonna talk to everyone. Starting with Clementine, for obvious reasons. <laughs> She's the one I'm looking after. So... Where is Clementine? Clementine! Okay, I'm just gonna look at the garbage bin. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> What's the point of going back there? All right, uh, <laughs> where's Clementine? Did she just go hiding? I guess Clementine went hey, into a room or something. What's up, Lee? Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Did you ever come down here to making much? Didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew mm. up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. <laughs> It's super teenager. nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is. What do you think about Lily? Get yourself she a bigger the hole there, dude. <laughs> That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Seems like a nice kid. And we didn't kick him out. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah. We can't turn on each other any more than we have. True that. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'm, I'm not sure later. how Katcha feels about that. Hi, guys. Hi, Lee. Alright. I still don't know where Clementine is. She just up and disappeared. She vanished. Poof! Without a trace. <laughs> oh, there she is! She's so small, I didn't see her. Doesn't help, I'm hey, blind. <laughs> hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. Hmm. See, I used to do those as same. a kid. <laughs> um, kind of. Uh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll smart talk one. to you later, Clem. Okay. <laughs> She's a smart cookie. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, what? Was that just... Yeah, okay. Go and talk. We'll talk to her late last. Can I go behind here? Nope. Okay. Where'd Duck go? It's Lily's room. It's, it's state the obvious, Captain. <laughs> hey, Lily. I'm sorry. 
You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. You haven't really been sleeping. Don't start in on that. You've been through a trauma, and you're not taking care of yourself. It counts off, and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. I'll play along with her just to be nice. A mystery. Jesus, Duck. <laughs> There's I'm Duck. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. <laughs> can I help? What did I just say? <laughs> You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. Your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. <laughs> okay, you're Robin. Yes. What do I do? I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. <laughs> weird. I'm on the case. <laughs> We don't tell him to not tell anyone because then he'll tell someone. It's just the kid mentality. If you just don't say anything, then he won't s suspect about, well, I'm going to go tell my parents now. Oh, I didn't even click the button. I just kind of walked up here. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. What about? You're a convicted killer. Harley, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. <laughs> People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? Yes. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Oh! You'll thank me later. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> now, is there anything else you want to talk about? You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time. Here I there come. There's going to be a lot of bad <laughs> ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. <laughs> I don't know. This place is fine, but... We all know that that could change at any second. I agree with that much. Because people know we're here now, obviously. 
Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. Yeah. And the batteries might be in backwards. <laughs> it uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? <laughs> kind of funny. Don't worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna mm. look into this thing. Good idea. See you later, Carly. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. <laughs> like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> yes. Claire, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car. And I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. She understands what How's I did. How's it going? Good. Well, that's good. Time to tell them. You guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Hmm. A clue! Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? Be direct. I've killed before. I mean, before the walkers showed up. You mean you were a murderer? You say that like it was my job. Well, what are the details? It was in a dispute. Would he have killed you? I don't know. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I'm sure Kenny was like, no, I'm not going to tell her, so I will. I was given Larry CPR with Lily. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> Kenny's gotcha. gonna be so mad at me for telling her. Everything keeps changing. I don't know if I made a good choice in that. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? I'm catching those. It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come mm. on. I killed someone. Different than Larry or the St. John's. Different from everything. This was before the walkers. A citizen? Yes. I know. I, I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with the girl and, you know, I, I was worried. Look, we've all done gnarly shit now. But what? You were some kind of killer? It's not like that. Is Duck safe around you? Of course. Good. But you should know, if we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. I appreciate it, though. Yeah. 
I think it's just better to tell people. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. Hmm. Hey Ben, I need to tell you something. Surely. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I was, uh, on my way to prison before this. He's still a kid. So. Whoa, seriously? What, um, were you in for? It's not important. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. All right, so there was broken glass over here. Is that what I heard? Oh, 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 e e e e what am I doing? Okay, my controls are. <laughs> <That's a broken laughs> I forgot how to the use the controller there. for a second. My bad. All right. Hmm. Well, it fits. There's an X. X marks the spot. There's something drawn there. With chalk. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Back. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's hmm. pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. <laughs> he just kind of comes out of nowhere, doesn't he? Clementine can't steal this stuff. Come on. They're trying to make it Clementine's fault. All right, Clementine. Do uh you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. You want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues. Yeah, and Duck, I got it. Good job. Yeah, sure, kid. I'll give you a high five. Cool. <laughs> Thinks I'm incredibly awesome. Okay. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. <laughs> Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. I'll go okay, tell her now. Okay, I won't. <laughs> you seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk, you found the scuff here. This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Hmm. So I can't tell Duck about my convictions. More chalk. Interesting. <clears throat> Somebody was over here too. See, I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck, you did. I suppose I should go turn into a around. mystery. <laughs> you stay here this time, seriously. Okay. Oh, I thought he was going to push it open, not pull it open. <laughs> A little different. Those bandits gave us help. They've been quiet for days now. Oh, that's probably a bad thing. <laughs> hmm. 
Let's check what's over here first. Nothing. Okay. Can't even see Carly up there. Obviously, the game points you to where you There's need to be. There's a down there. <laughs> it's hmm. a bag or something. Oh. The mystery unfolds.